Welcome to the lesson on alternative or non-conventional sources of energy. In this lesson we will learn that energy can be generated from the sun, sea, hot water springs and nuclear fission. The concept of solar energy through a simple experiment. About limitations of energies from the sea. About the potentials and dangers of nuclear energy. Dad, the sun gives us so much heat. Can't we use it to make our food? Let's see what your elder sister is doing. I am using a solar cooker to heat my cookies. But how? A solar cooker is a device that uses solar energy to heat food. The direct rays of sun are not enough to heat the food. The solar energy is concentrated in one place to heat the food. Traffic signals, calculators, and toys are some devices that use solar cells. Wow! Can we use solar energy to generate electricity? Yes, this is done through solar cell panels. The solar cell panels collect large amounts of solar energy to deliver electricity. Tidal energy, wave energy, Ocean thermal energy are forms of energy that come from sea. What? We can use sea waves and tides to generate energy? Tides that rise and fall very high have tremendous energy. By constructing dams, this tide energy can be harnessed to generate electricity. But... Places with such high tides must be limited. Correct. That is why only few places have such dams. Similarly, there are seas where the wind blows very hard. The waves can be strong enough to generate electricity with the help of a turbine. Is it difficult to generate a big amount of energy from sea? Correct. Even the third type of sea energy, that is ocean thermal energy, is in limited use. In ocean thermal energy, we heat ammonia, which becomes a vapor, and this vapor is used to generate electricity. Dad, can you take us to New Zealand this summer? They have hot springs, where they generate geothermal energy. What is geothermal energy? You know that the earth has many hot spots, places which have lava. When these hot spots come in contact with underground water below the rocks, they heat the water, causing them to change into steam. This steam is used to turn turbines and generate electricity. Correct. Einstein gave us a very important source of energy called nuclear energy. In fact, in some countries, 30% of their electricity is generated through nuclear energy. Nuclear energy? Yes, he found out that when an atom is split, it can result in very huge amounts of energy. How large? The energy we get from one atom of uranium is 10 million times the energy we can get from burning one atom of coal. Wow! So why don't we use nuclear energy everywhere? Nuclear bombs are also made from nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is very harmful if not used properly and can cause large-scale harm to human beings and the environment. 
After completion of this lesson, you will learn that energy can be generated from the sun, sea, hot water springs and nuclear fission. The concept of solar energy through a simple experiment. About limitations of energies from the sea. About the potentials and dangers of nuclear energy.